hello you guys welcome back to another video today i'm going to show you how to edit adbots in adobe illustrator so without any further ado let's jump right in so first off what's an adbot an adbot is a space or a spot on your canvas adobe illustrator gives you to place your design or place your adbot on and pretty much this is where all your designs will be done on that's the spot on the page so to edit this artboard in adobe illustrator there are different approach to it which i'm going to show you all the approach i use to edit my artboard in adobe illustrator let's jump to the screen so this is one artboard i created for a project so let's say we have just one page here that's just one artboard yeah, and it's just an empty artboard that has nothing on it. So next thing I'm going to do is to create a shape on this artboard just to create an even shape like this. And you can give it any color you like to give it. Assuming this is an artwork on the artboard. Okay, let's move on. And I want to edit this artwork maybe to resize my artboard. All you have to do is to click on edit and once you do that it opens up like this but if you can't find this panel here then there are other ways to do that you go to file and you go to document setup and with this you can set up your document to any size you want and you can also click on edit adboard to edit your adboard and to edit your adboard you come to properties you see transform to choose the position of your ad but okay so you see the x and y axis of your art board and you also have the width and the height so you can change the size of your width and the size of your height just here and to add more art board you can click on new art board the plus icon here to add okay that and to delete any art board you can click on delete icon here to delete and that's cool and if you need a custom size you can hold and drag to edit your artboard size on a custom way like this like it's a free transform very free to transform your artboard to whatever you want and to change your artboard presets you can click a drop down here of presets and you choose the preset you want currently i'm using a4 so that's cool and to change your orientation you can click on landscape or portrait it's very simple and that's just how to edit your artboard that is the number one way to edit your artboard though there are several other ways which i'm going to show you just right now but notice this there is this note here that you can move artwork with artboard in illustrator so just like this if i move this artwork currently we are still on the artboard editing mode we are not off to the design editing mode yet we are still on the artboard editing mode so you can move your artwork with your design on it but what if you don't want to move your artboard with your design on it all you have to do is to uncheck this very simple or you click on this icon here that is just up here you click on this icon move or copy artwork with artboard good so when you uncheck that you can move your artboard without moving your artwork as well okay that's cool and you can duplicate your artboard by just holding alt on your keyboard and move it to any direction you want to duplicate it to and you have two artboards it's another way of adding a new artboard instead of clicking on the plus icon you can simply hold alt to duplicate your artboard and you can duplicate it to any direction you want and that's just cool and very simple and if you want to duplicate your design all you have to do is to make sure you check this icon again this note just the same way you activated this it's the same note here and you can hold alt and duplicate this and once you do that you duplicate your artboard with your design as well and that looks very cool so that's just the number one approach and once you are done with that you click on exit and that exit the artboard editing mode and another way of doing that is to click on your artboard tool just here and the shortcut for the artboard tool is shift o on your keyboard and it opens up the artboard editing mode once again and you can edit your artboard and do whatever you like to do 
to edit your artboard and that looks cool and very nice and once you are done editing your artboard what you will always want to do every time is to click on exit to close the artboard editing mode or you run up to your selection tool and it closes the editing mode automatically and that's done so if this video makes sense to you make sure you leave a like and share this video with a friend as well and if you have not subscribed yet kindly do that and if you have any challenge using adobe illustrator for your designs or your workflow leave it on the comment and we'll make a video about that thanks so much for watching and i will see you in the next video